In this short video, we will demonstrate how to install and route Fiber One FDH splitters in our fiber distribution hubs. Note that typical FDH installation may have hundreds of connections, so it is important to minimize the congestion of all the fiber leads. As this unit is for demonstration purposes only, to save time, we will be connecting without checking each connector. Note that you should always follow best practices of cleaning and inspecting connectors before mating them to your fiber distribution hub. Depending on the model, Fiber One distribution hubs have one to three frames, which are capable of accepting up to 14 cassettes. In this video, we are showing our FDH2000, which has two frames, and is typically used for up to 288 distribution fiber applications. Our other models, the FDH1000 has one frame for up to 144 fiber distribution, and our FDH3000 has three frames for 432 fiber distribution applications. This video will be applicable for all Fiber One FDH models. Assuming your network is using a typical PON design, note that within each frame, the top two slots are designated for feeder cassettes, and the next 12 cassettes are designated for distribution cassettes. Typically, the feeder cassettes will carry signals from the OLT and provide input signals to the optical splitters placed in the fiber distribution hub. Adjacent to each frame is one splitter holder, which can mount up to five fiber optic splitters. Additionally, there is a connector parking lot area, capable of storing up to 35 connectors. Unused splitter connections can be stored here, with their protective end face cap on, until they are required to be activated in your distribution network. For our demonstration purposes, we have removed all of the U-Guard fiber shields from the cassettes. Note that the Fiber One FDH splitters have a unique design which minimizes the amount for fiber leads being used in your application. Our FDH 1x32 splitter has four jacketed fiber bundles that each have a breakout of eight strands each, for a total of 32 outputs. Note that each connector is numbered behind the connector boot. For best results, Fiber One recommends connecting the outputs of the splitters to the cassettes in the adjacent frame. This helps to minimize congestion when routing the fibers within the FDH. To install the FDH splitter, remove the retention bar on the splitter holder. Slide the splitter into the holder and secure it with the retention bar. The retention bar can be placed in multiple positions as you add more splitters. Between the splitter holder and the cassette are a pair of fiber support arms. Slack fiber will be routed around these in a counterclockwise fashion to connect to the appropriate cassette. There are seven sets of fiber support arms pointing in the upward position and one on the bottom side pointing in the downward position. Ideally, you will route all the splitter outputs from the splitter holder to the cassettes in the adjacent frame. Route the splitter input fiber above and around the top set of fiber retention arms, then down and around the bottom set then up and over to the designated input port on the desired feeder cassette. Route the first tube around the top fiber support arms and then down and around the bottom and through the adjacent fiber support arms to the desired location of the cassette you will be connecting to. For best fiber management results, try to manage a group of eight connections within an adjacent group of two to three cassettes. Then, route the second tube in the same fashion. For best results, Always route the bundle of connections behind the existing fiber strands. Continue this process with each additional fiber bundle and splitter. Note you may route the fibers around the support arms below or above the frame to achieve the desired slack length. When complete, replace all U-Guard fiber shields. Optionally, secure fiber leads with Velcro straps to manage fiber bundles. For more information, visit our website at fiber1llc.com or contact a technical service representative toll-free at 866-434-8877.